Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about the second problem from the latest Google Kickstart round C, problem name range partition. So Alan and Barbara are like felt like playing with numbers. So there's a number game that Alan and Barbara are playing. Alan choose a non-empty subset from the set of the first n possible integers. So there's a set like all the numbers from 1 till n and Alan will choose out some numbers from that numbers you have that is 1 till n and Barbara will take the rest of the numbers. Cool. So you have now two subsets. Now, uh, they both now calculate out the sum of the elements. So, Alan has some numbers, B, Barbara has some numbers, they just find out the sums. Now, Alan believes in a magic ratio that is X by Y. Okay. Hence, Alan wants to choose the subset in such a way that the ratio of the sum of Alan's by the sum of Barbara should become equal to X by Y. Okay. Now, just Alan is just curious to know that whether it is possible or not. If it is possible, can you print out the subset which Alan must choose to get out this result? Okay. That's the whole problem. Now, uh, there's also one thing that the GCD of X by Y equal to one, which means that uh, that is in the smallest uh, representation possible. It's not like four by six, like the smallest uh, factor by possible. Okay, so you are given that you have three numbers and you have to get the ratio of one by two. So let us see that you have the ratio in the end that is X by Y. You have the ratio that is X by Y. Now X by Y, you can say that X by Y is the final ratio that you actually are given to you, but you have the total, let's say the total numbers you have, let's say one, two, three till N. Now Alan will take out some, some subset and Barbara will take out some subset. Okay. Now let's say that the total sum of this is equal to sum. Now sum is just the summation of one plus two plus three till N. Okay. You can directly easily find out because you're given N. And you also now you know the sum total sum. Now what you can see here is that x by y is just the summation of like so you can just say that x by y is also like x into small x into y into small x. This is into. So what I'm trying to say is that if you just write down x multiplied with the same number and y also with the same number. Because this is in the smallest form possible. X and Y is in the smallest representation possible, decimal representation. So you can also multiply some factor and that is also valid because this is equivalent to this only because you can like cancel out these values and like, yeah. So this is also like equivalent to this only. But what you can now, now do is because this is one, one of one value and this is another value. X small x apply small y small x. This value is equal to sum. Why? Because see, this is Alan's shear, Alan's total sum. This is Barbara total sum because I just do the division of Alan sum by Barbara sum. So now maybe let's say Alan sum is, let's say, let's say hundred and Barbara sum is, let's say 50. So obviously they, they have a common factor. You will divide them. It will become like two is to one. Let's say. So what you are trying to do is that you are given this number. So if you want to get back to this original number, you just multiply with the common factor that you have divided by, which is like, let's say small x. And if you just add both of the values, that should be a total sum equal to. Why? Because we have taken out these subset from the total sum of the numbers we have. So now you can directly see that you can take out x common. So it is just equal to sum divided by x by y. That is the fraction, like the value by which you have divided both of the values by. So now if you just want to get Allen's shear, Allen's shear is let's say this capital X into small x that is equal to capital X into small x value is this that is sum by capital X plus y. This is actually the Allen's shear. So you can directly check that if this value exists by so you can directly check that if sum is a multiple of capital X plus like capital X capital Y that is given to you. So if sum divided by capital X plus Y is like properly divisible by that, then the answer is that yes, it is possible. If it was not properly divisible by capital X plus capital Y, then the answer is no, it is impossible to like divide it into this particular type of ratio. If it is possible, then you got the total sum Allen must have as a total subset that Allen must have to get the total ratio of X by Y. Now you just have the total sum you want. So now you just have to greedily take out the number. So you have, let's say numbers one, two, three, four, five till N. And let's say the total sum you want is X. Let's say the total sum you want is X. Now you can just greedily take out numbers going from back to front. 
okay just take out numbers so let's say i just want a total sum let's say of seven so you just let's say and start taking from five you take from five and you want a total sum of seven then you can take this five in the subset so you want a total sum of seven so you take five in a subset okay then can you take four no because you want a total sum of seven and you have taken five so the only sum that is left is two so you will not take this can you take this no you cannot take this can you take this yes you cannot yes you can take this so you can take this the total sum is get seven so you can take this as a subset that is let's say five plus two that is giving you a seven seven like total sum of seven so now you get the total sum seven then you can like do all this stuff that's the whole logic here so uh what you can at least check here is that that's the solution that you can just find out the total sum the total sum of n numbers from one to n is n into n plus one divided by two this is the total sum so if the total sum is not a multiple of x plus y then the answer is impossible because i've already told you if it is it is possible then you just have to find out allen's sum that is the other sum so other sum is x into total sum divided by x plus y now you know the other sum you just have to find out the subset which has the total sum of this other sum just make a vector to store the answers it did over the whole numbers that is from n till one from back to front if the ith element that you want to add in the subset is having a less than equal to the other sum value just add this i into the vector and just subtract this i from other sum which means that you have to keep on accumulating till the sum becomes equal to uh, the total sum you want and in the end you just print out the answer like what is the total size of the subset you have and the subset numbers that's the logic for the second problem if you still have any doubts you can mention in the comment box of this video thank you for watching the video till the end i will see you next month keep coding and bye